In this tutorial, we're going to use Rhino and drape a mesh over a series of solids to simulate a terrain or site surface. We must import the solid objects. We'll navigate to them, and they are DXF file out of AutoCAD. Import them. Ensure that your units are correct. They were drafted as feet in AutoCAD. Okay, so you have the red terrain, which are a series of solids, and you see the green boundary at the bottom. We're going to make a layer called drape. Now you notice I forget to make it active. So, command here is drape. It's like we drafting a dropping a bed sheet over our terrain model. So there's a couple things to look at here. Number one, it's on the wrong layer. Number two, you can see how fine the mesh is and how it carefully and almost precisely conforms to the steps of our simple model. So we're going to save it here and then we'll explore a few ways in which we can reduce the mesh so that it doesn't look as stair-steppy as the original pancake model. Alright, so we can select it, we go to Properties, and we can attempt to change the density. If I increase it, the number of mesh intervals in that increases, which doesn't help us. I can reduce it to zero, and this also doesn't have um, the desired effect. So the result here is that we're going to have to uh, redo the drape, making sure that we change the um, interval of the mesh. So I'm going to repeat the command. Now turn off auto spacing and change the U and the V. So the U defined, right now that's how the way in which you can uh, describe the mesh. There you go. So you can see that the number in the X increases and the Y axis. Right, so it's much finer and if we zoom in we can see that the stair step has adequately sort of smoothed the terrain. Alright, so now we need to trim it to the size of the model. So that's why the site boundary, we're going to extrude that curve. You want to ensure that it is below your terrain or your drape object and that it extends to above it. Select your curve, extrude it. You can eyeball this. Okay, that was an error. Let's put it on the site boundary layer. Now you can see it's green. Right, do you select it? So the strategy here is to then trim the mesh by the extruded box. You can use a Boolean split, but the preferred option here is a mesh Boolean split. Activate the command, select the object to be trimmed, then select the cutting edge and then voila. You can delete the extruded box and delete the outside and now you have a smooth mesh object. Okay, a little too smooth on the sides. file save and then you can prepare to export this to bring it into a renderer or into another application.